Autism is a developmental disorder, which means that children and young people grow up having difficulties with language and social communication. And primarily it's a, a, a difficulty understanding how to socialise with people. Families generally who come to me would say that they've had very little support. They've had to fight to get a diagnosis, they've had to fight to get an assessment, and they've had to fight to get a, a, an appropriate education for their children. We chose the charity of choice for O2 and the theme we were after was to look for an organisation that was going to support young children and young adults with communication disabilities. We chose IAA because they fitted exactly with both that cause but when we met them culturally they fitted exactly with O2. They're our kind of people and we gelled from the minute we met them. The last three years have been amazing. With Irish Autism Action as our charity of choice, O2 have donated over €400,000 through corporate donations and also through fundraising activities. Over 350 of our employees have got involved uh, helping out Irish Autism Action, be that through volunteering again or um, fundraising activities. It's been absolutely great. The support that we've had from the people in O2 over the last few years has just been amazing and that's why we've decided to continue supporting Irish Autism Action. One of the key fundraising activities that was held earlier this year was centred around World Autism Awareness Day. It was great. It's World Autism Day, it's only the second year and uh, already it's looking good. The cheque was raised for, um, was for eight grand and we raised it through the Croke Partridge Challenge. So there's about 4,000 4, of that with staff and then O2 matched that for us with another four grand. Well, that was for €38,900 and it was the first cheque for the IAA Affinity Programme which we launched uh, in October 2008 and it allows customers to donate 5% of their mobile spend to the IAA at no cost to them. O2 gives it on their behalf. The fact is we've had a fantastic turnout, you know, I mean everybody's here, the Bernard Flynn behind me here, you know, Brian Ormond has just turned up, Ken Doherty's here, Johnny Giles is here, you know, this, this is a huge turnout, you know what I mean, which is fantastic. It's not just about one day events, we've also launched initiatives that can help people continuously contribute to Irish autism action throughout the year, such as our affinity deal and the recycling scheme. You can also help by volunteering your time, like the finance team did out in the Red Door School in April. Hi guys, come on in. Um, welcome to our little school. We're just going to go down here to this classroom. Here's Brian. The Red Door School recently moved premises to a much, much better premises, much more custom made uh, for the children and the services that we need to provide. But that move has been supported by 25 employees coming out and another 35 out today. Um, for the last while we wanted to take a day out to you know, have a team day, a bit of working together, together is better and all that, and we decided that a volunteering day would be a good idea. And individually it can be quite difficult to feel, well, what can I do? Whereas collectively it makes it a lot easier, so I think that was, uh, the reaction has been very positive, and if you go in there you'll hear everyone is working away busily, but there's a really good sense of crack as well. So hopefully we'll leave this area in a better place when we leave for the kids who are going to use it for a, um, activities after school. Well, we're just helping out, um, giving something back to the community, really. We've got this fantastic facility that could be put to um, really great use. So it's just helping the guys from the school um, get it into a condition where they can, they can use it for the kids. It's a great sense of community, I think, within O2. It's a great sense of a family in it. I mean, I'm only, I'm only there five months myself, and, you know, you feel a sense of warmth in that. And just coming out today and, you know, walking with the guys and stuff like that, I think it's just as brilliant, you know. It's a, <clears throat> it lets you, you know, forget about all the doom and gloom that's going on and just do something positive, you know. It's great. If you consider the amount of work that's involved in just getting any of the classroom areas ready for us, uh, it just ties up so much time otherwise for the parents, which really we need to give to our kids. It, you know, our spare time is actually our time with the children, and the fact that the O2 guys can come and do all of that work for us just means as parents, we are to spend the time with the kids where it's really needed, rather than you know spending our weekends and nights here trying to do work in the school. It's just absolutely fantastic. Well, we couldn't survive without volunteer work, you know, without the support of people. And in that way, we are very grateful for the involvement of O2 in helping us get our operation going here. And I will guarantee to everybody who's here today that the work they're doing will make a difference to the children, the families and future children that could come here. Oh, I just think it's the best idea ever because there's 35 of us here today and we're just like, everyone's working really hard, heads down. It's like taking work away from the parents that ordinarily would have to be here Saturday and Sunday, like away from the kids, trying to get this place done up. So hopefully we can get everything done today and uh, this will be ready then for the second coach, which the parents will have to do. But I'm sure some of us will come out and try and help them out as well. I guess you never know when your own life could be touched. 
and I think that if you can extend your hand out then you know pay it forward that's the way I see it you know you never know the day when you may need somebody Anyone thinking of volunteering, uh, I, would, I would really encourage them. The atmosphere we've had on days like today uh, has been fantastic. Any volunteering days I've been involved in, really people seem to get an awful lot out of it individually, uh, and I really hope they do. But also the uh, difference, and what the school gets out of it, what the children get out of it, the parents and uh, the supporters of the schools get out of it is absolutely fantastic. So people enjoying themselves, making a difference, and I suppose it's together is better. Well done and thank you to everyone. Let's continue to support Irish Autism Action. If you'd like to help out, please don't hesitate to contact us.